Hey fragrance fans, Fangirl here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, feeling and smelling fabulous. So today I have sort of a hodgepodge mishmash video for you guys. If you wanna grab a snack, grab a beverage, and let's just chit chat. So I really wanted to take the opportunity to discuss the collection you have in front of you, Secret Wonderland. It is my scent of the day slash scent of the season, I'll explain but it just happened, so happens to be my second favorite scent of all time. Sidebar, Twilight Woods is my all-time favorite. But Secret Wonderland is a fragrance that I just, I love it. And I really wanna use this channel to reach out to other fragrance fans, other people in the wax community and the fragrance community, and just have a platform to discuss the fragrances and scents that we love. Secret Wonderland happens to be one of those for me. So the collection you see in front of you, the current Secret Wonderland packaging was out during the SAS sale, the winter SAS sale, but it originally came out during the summer SAS sale in the same packaging, and it had not been out for years. So guys, believe me, I stocked up. This is hands down one of my favorites, second favorite of all time, and I love it. So I have, this is what I have remaining in backup, but I'm also currently using a full set. So Secret Wonderland is my scent of the day slash scent of the season, scent of the month, however you wanna say it. Um, how I use body care is I use one scent exclusively until it's gone. Now I know a lot of people get easily tired of scents and they like to rotate them out and switch them up. I'm not that way. I think it's because I only use scents that I love, so I don't get easily tired of them. It takes me about a month to get through a set, give or take a few days. Uh, a set to me, how I use body care is two creams, two shower gels, and one fine fragrance mist. That's about what I go through in a month. So in future hauls, you guys will see me purchase body care that way. I'll usually have two creams, two shower gels, and a fragrance mist. The mist definitely takes me the longest to get through, and that's usually why I only get one. Now, if I love a scent, such as Secret Wonderland, I will buy way more. I will buy more products and just use them up as I desire. So let's dive into the details of this scent, starting with the fragrance notes. Luscious strawberry, frosted jasmine petals, and white amber. The description reads, get swept away to a world you never dreamed existed with Secret Wonderland. I think that's perfect. It definitely paints a picture of the fragrance experience with this one. So let's get into some history. So back in early 2010, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was the summer sass that year, Bath & Body Works released a scent called Moonlight Magic. It was part of a collection along with Sweet Pea Forever. And what those were were remixes of the core scents Moonlight Path and Sweet Pea. From what I remember, and I'm trying to rack my brain guys, I think that was one of the first times that Bath & Body Works reimagined one of their core lines like they're doing with the gingham currently. But as far as I remember, that's one of the first times they did that. So Moonlight Magic smells nothing like Moonlight Path. It is definitely a reimagined, reformulated, and entirely different scent. I think maybe they just took inspiration, but it is definitely not a repackage. It's nothing like Moonlight Path. I enjoy Moonlight Path from time to time. It's a little heavy for me. I do like the scent. It is a nostalgic scent, but the Secret Wonderland is nothing like that. So don't let that deter you if you're not a fan of that one. So Moonlight Magic was here and gone. It was a sass release. It only came out that one time and it disappeared. And I was devastated because I fell in love with it. Fast forward to the end of that year, 2010, and I believe it was October, I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves me correctly, we had a new core line launch of Secret Wonderland. Lo and behold, it was my beloved Moonlight Magic. It came out originally in this gorgeous, whimsical packaging. It was like purple and blue and sparkly, and it was beautiful. It was early fall, early late fall, so it was great for the uh, holiday season. 
I mean, the packaging was just stunning, that first release. And I think it was an immediate favorite of mine. It didn't bump my Twilight Woods out of first spot. Nothing ever has, but it certified itself as one of my favorites and to this day still is. So Secret Wonderland has been in two or three repackages originally, all different variations of that whimsical, beautiful purple blue packaging with the sparkles. 2013 is when they discontinued it. I was heartbroken. I, I had some in backup, but I was just devastated. It went to an online exclusive or what they call retired. And when it went on to that online exclusive, it was in this packaging with just the, it's the sans serif font and like the subtle, I don't know what that is, some kind of flower um, and the purple wrap around uh, label there. But this is all I have left. I don't have any of the original packaging and that beautiful whimsical packaging, but this is all I have left of the online exclusive packaging. And then again, that was in 2013. So when this popped back up and I heard rumors about it and I didn't know if it was true. And then I think, I think we seen a sneak peek, definitely um, Life Inside the Daily Page had a sneak peek and I seen Secret Wonderland and I was ecstatic. I was just crazy happy because this scent had it's been gone for many many years then when we started getting the sass promo materials and it was one of the features i just i can't explain to you guys how happy i was so i saved up and i bought a ton of it i've used most of what i bought from last um summer sass this is what i have remaining but this is also i picked up a few more pieces during the winter sass that just passed. So, Secret Wonderland, guys. How would I explain it to you? Now, I'm biased, of course, but it's it's amazing. It's a sensual, beautiful scent. The berries in there are luscious. The scent is luminous. It's definitely got a magic feel. I think the name Secret Wonderland definitely plays to the experience you get with this. It's it's magical, it's whimsical. The strawberry is the dominant note. Um, I think the original, because this came out in an EDT, which I do not have, I wish I did, but it had a better description. The berries in this, um, that EDT, had strawberry, raspberry, and goji berries. So it's definitely like a mixed berry, but to me, I get strawberry but it's a darker strawberry. It's a richer strawberry. It's not like fruity, girly, fun time. It's it's dark, it's deep. Mid notes on this, on the original, were jasmine, gardenia, and peach. I'm not a big floral fan, but jasmine is definitely one of those florals that I can tolerate. It's delicate, it's light, it's subtle. It complements the strawberry so well. Base notes on this one were vanilla, amber, musk, and sandalwood. Vanilla definitely rounds everything out. I don't pick it up specifically as a note when I smell it on my skin, but you can tell that there's this comforting wrap around the scent that just tones it, evens it out, I guess. The amber in there, I definitely pick up. They're calling it a white amber. Um, I don't know if that's a more subtle amber it's definitely not a sharp amber. And that musk, I love musk. I know a lot of people do not, but I'm a big musk and sandalwood person, so I like those. And all these notes just blend to create this beautiful, seductive scent. I would say that if you are a fan of Twilight Woods, that, you know, that warmer, darker scent, or Dark Kiss, or Midnight Pomegranate, or Be Enchanted, or even uh, what black amethyst. This smells like none of those. It smells like none of those, but I'm saying if you're a fan of those darker, more sensual scents that you would really enjoy this. If you like sweet scents, if you like more mature fragrances, I would say you would enjoy this. So the packaging on the current re-release of this, it's still purple, which I'm thankful for. 
It's, it's, it's just beautiful. I don't know if my camera is doing justice at the color of this shower gel, but it's a deep, like, plum purple. It's, it's gorgeous. And the metallic foil label on there. Now the, I don't really understand this packaging. The, I don't know, background or, I don't know. It looks like blue jeans to me. It looks like denim. Not sure if that's what they're going for, but that's what it reads as to me. Can you guys see that? It looks like denim blue jeans. I'm not really a fan of that. I much prefer the original packaging, but I am happy that it still is this blue, purple, playful packaging. I wish we had some sparkle. I wish there wasn't that denim on there, but I'll I'll take it. As long as they release Secret Wonderland, I'll take it in any packaging. They, they can give it to me in a plain white bottle with nothing and I will buy it. The lotion, which the lotions last a lot longer than the body creams. I much prefer body creams, but I did pick up a lotion just so I have it. And once I use my body creams up, I'll switch to this because it has a longer shelf life. But look at that beautiful, like grape plum purple. It, it is really pretty. The overall design, I'm not a huge fan of like that denim look, but the, the hue of it, the color, the, the purple vibes I'm digging. So I am happy with that. And again, I would buy it in any packaging it came out in. So I believe that the master perfumer that created Secret Wonderland was the same perfumer that created Twilight Woods. I'm not sure on that. If any of you guys out there know, please let me know because I'm genuinely curious. I think I read back in the day, back when this launched, that it was the same perfumer. And I kind of get that because I love them both so much that I could see, I can see s subtle, um, they're nothing alike. Twilight Woods and Secret Wonderland are, are nothing alike, but there's things that I experience with both of them that they remind me of each other. Not the fragrance itself, just the way they use fragrance, if I'm making any sense at all. I hope someone out there understands what I'm saying. But this, to me, smells like a expensive perfume. Now, I by no means am at all an expert at perfumes. I have not dipped into the luxury world. I have a few things in my collection, very few, but to me, to my nose, this smells like an expensive perfume fragrance. It is one of the best scents that Bath & Body Works has ever released, and I wish that they would have more Ex fra fragrance experiences like this one. We get a lot of repackages. We get a lot of, I'm, I love Bath and Body Works guys. Please don't take this the wrong way, but we do get a lot of like wishy-washy fragrances, like repackages of things, things that we've smelled a million times. And I really miss this, this old school type fragrances where when we didn't get 30 launches a year, we would get like two or three and it was definitely quality over quantity back then. When they released scents in that era, it was just, they were like powerhouses. And I miss that, but I still love my Bath & Body Works. I still love all my foodie, foodie scents and my, you know, our, our fruity things that we get, but I really miss the scents like this. Now, I haven't found something outside of Bath and Body Works that this that mimics this. If anybody out there knows of a scent that reminds you of Secret Wonderland or could it even be considered a dupe, please let me know because after I use this up, I'm I'm going to be heartbroken again and I hope that Bath and Body Works continues to release it. I don't care if they only bring it out during SAS, that's fine, but as long as it keeps coming out, I'll keep buying it. But if anybody knows another scent that has the same feel as this one, please let me know. Let me know down in the comments and let me know if you enjoy Secret Wonderland. It's a beautiful, magical fragrance. It's dark, it's deep, it's seductive. It's definitely dark berries, dark strawberry with that like delicate jasmine note and 
the white amber, the sandalwood, the musk as an under uh, as a bottom note. It's I I find it difficult to describe, but other than it, it's beautiful. It's complex, complex. It's feminine. It's a good winter scent, a good fall scent. But I personally wear this all year round because it's one of my favorites. But I would to another person, I would say this is a date night scent. This is a beautiful fragrance. It will make you feel feminine. It will make you feel sexy. It's just, I love it. All right, fragrance fans. So continuing on with why I called this a hodgepodge video, I did put in the description that this is my best sass fine. And I know sass has been over for about a month now, guys. I get it. But I started my uh, channel kind of late and I really just wanted to talk about Secret Wonderland. So if there's any way that you guys are out there and you still find this in some stores, I know some stores still have a random bin here or there of SAS stuff. So if Secret Wonderland is still out there in the wild, pick it up. It is a gorgeous scent. And also I know that some of the outlet stores still have this in abundance. So I definitely just wanted to get it out there while this still might be floating around. And I also wanted to show you some of my other good sass finds, the best sass finds. I didn't buy a lot of body care this sass, but I did a get a couple home decor items that were just an amazing deal. So I wanna show you those to you guys. But first, again, sidebar. Does anyone remember this perfume from Victoria's Secret? It was very sexy now. Now they have done other iterations with that same naming convention that were not the same scent. There was a very sexy now that was like a tropical summer release. There was a very sexy now that was a really heavy floral. And I believe there was another very sexy now, same name, totally different scents. There was the one and only time that they released this specific version. And I don't have any of the details in front of, in front of me guys. I will in a future video go more in depth into this because it's one of my favorites. It is my favorite Victoria's Secret perfume. So I'll discuss it later in more detail, but I just wanted to tell you, I paired this perfume with Secret Wonderland and I have two of these left. The scent notes on this, and again, I don't have the details in front of me, but I can tell you for sure that the scent notes in this was strawberry, jasmine, and white amber, the same as Secret Wonderland. They don't smell the same. There's obviously different, there's a variance to the fragrance, more or less of a fragrance note, but it pairs beautifully with Secret Wonderland. And I would really like to know if you guys do the whole fragrance cocktail. Again, I am not an expert with my, with a luxury fragrance. I haven't dipped into that world yet, but I do like to pair a perfume every now and then with my Bath and Body Works scents. Um, Savings Fashionista does the fragrance cocktails and it's so interesting and I love listening to her. I'm wondering if, if you guys do that as well. Do you pair, you know, more designer, more luxury perfumes with your Bath and Body Works? I've done that here or there over the years. Not every scent, but definitely this one I've been using with Secret Wonderland since this came out. And I'm just wondering if you guys did that as well. Oh, I'd also like your suggest suggestions on, on any perfumes. Um, not looking to dive into that world yet, but I want to take notes so that when I am ready to try some luxury fragrances, I kind of have a wish list going. So, back to the sass talk. Secret Wonderland was my number one sass find. But then, guys, check it out. This is what else I would consider the best sass find. So, this was the little boo ghost what was it called did he have a name it just says plug me in for a spooky ghostly glow there's the little um glowing ghost wallflower holder so cute and i got this for 75 percent off so that was definitely a great deal i was so happy i wanted to buy this when it was out originally at halloween time and I just couldn't pay that price. The retail on this one was $22.50. Guys, I cannot pay that for a wallflower plug, especially if they don't really have a, a long shelf life. They don't last that long. So, but for 75% off, I picked him up. He's adorable. And it is so bright. I've seen I've seen it plugged in online, people's videos and reviews of him. 
and he's really bright, but I was so happy to get him. I am a Halloween fanatic, but that was definitely a good sass find. Next, you guys, I have never bought one of the house, sorry, it's in, it's in the plastic. I have never bought one of the house plugins. This is my first and I am ecstatic. It was the pink wallflower cottage. Uh, it says, bring warmth to your home this year with our cozy holiday house. Uh, I thought these had names, I guess not, but it's so beautiful. Look at all the detail. Look at the little tree inside there and the fireplace. I don't know if the camera's picking it up and the wreath on the door, the little bottle brush tree on the side, all the glitter. Oh my God, it's so glittery. I love it. I, I'm so excited about this. And again, 75% off. The original price on this one was $32.50. I would have never paid the full price but I was so happy and just stunned that I was able to get this one for 75% off. So that was a great satisfying. And then last but not least, this was what I was after. This is what I wanted for SAS guys. I went to many stores and I was almost at the point where I was just giving up. Actually, I had given up, but I stopped at one more store. So I think I went to, hold on, let me count. I think I went to a total of six stores looking for this and I found it in the seventh. The seventh that I wasn't even going to go to, but it is the, um, you really can't see it. It's not in frame. It's the three wick candle pedestal holder with the snowflake and it plays music and it lights up and it's just full of glitter. And these things are crazy expensive. Um, $59.95 on that one. Again, I, I, I could never and would never pay full price for one of those, but to find that at SAS and 75% off was just, I was ecstatic. That was my SAS hunt. That's what I went to stores looking for was this guy and I finally found him and they had one left and it's mine. <laughs> so very happy with that. But yep, those were my, my SAS finds. Um, the best of the best SAS finds. Okay, guys, forgive me. Things are a little wacky right now. I decided to cut the packaging off of these and kind of show you, if I can, uh, what they look like lit up. So here is the little ghosty. I don't know if it's translating well, but he's so cute. And then for the um, cottage, be careful with this one. And then here is this one lit up and it's got the red and green lights. Isn't it beautiful? And does this one project something? Some of them have a projector. I don't think this one does. So it's just the cottage, but it's so beautiful. Love it. Yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys really quickly. And I also went ahead and put some batteries in my water globe, my snowflake globe. Sorry. So I'm gonna show you this one too. And it has lights and music. And the snowflake turns and look at that glitter. It's just gorgeous. It also has the option to run it without the lights and music. So it would just be the lights. I'm sorry, it has the option to run it without the music. So it just lights and glitter so pretty okay um, so that's it today guys thank you so much for hanging out with me letting me ramble about my love for secret wonderland i really hope you enjoyed the video i hope that you found it informative please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy secret wonderland if you love it as much as i do and i'm also really curious what were your favorite or best sass finds let me know and I'll see you all again real soon in a future video for some more fragrance fun. Have a good one, guys. Bye.